video will start in 5 seconds. What is the right course of action in this situation? I maintain my speed and continue driving as before. What should you know about using the rear view mirror? I am unable to see vehicles and pedestrians in the blind spot. Rear view mirrors must be adjusted to the particular driver. What is the risk if you become distracted while using electronic devices when driving? I may fail to notice road traffic signs. I may deviate from my lane. You are under time pressure. What must you ensure? I restrain the desire to drive through the traffic lights even when red. I restrain the desire to exceed the speed. I restrain the desire to reduce the safety. What indications mean you should interrupt your journey? Difficulty keeping your eyes open, yawning frequently, difficulty staying in line. What is the right course of action when reversing? I look behind me and ensure the road area is safe by additionally looking all around me. I look behind me and make sure that no one is located in my blind spot. I look behind me and drive slowly and attentively. What must you do when a traffic jam forms on this road? What must you do when a traffic jam forms on this road? Remaining within my lane, I drive as far to the left as possible. Why should you have the traffic information switched on when driving on the motorway?
because the traffic information provides reports about traffic jams because the traffic information gives warnings about motorists heading in the wrong direction you are approaching a traffic light which has been green for some time what do you do watch the traffic light closely approach but be ready to stop what do you do when you see this traffic sign on an autobahn in case of a traffic jam brake and switch on hazard warning lights increase your alertness and as a matter of precaution increase your distance to the vehicle in front what should you avoid for reasons of environmental protection unnecessary trip letting the engine warm up when the vehicle is stationary loud music with windows open you drive round a bend once at 30 km per hour and again at 60 km per hour how does the centrifugal force change centrifugal force at 60 km per hour is 4 times as high what must you bear in mind when loading a single axle trailer the permissible axle load the permissible total mass the permissible load on the coupling you are planning a longer journey with a purely electric vehicle what should you be aware of the availability of electric charging stations the influence of external ambient temperatures on the range the battery charging time why must you ensure the brake fluid is changed regularly in accordance with the vehicle manufacturer's instructions to ensure that the protection of water in the brake fluid does not exceed the permitted level to ensure that the braking system remains functional even under a high load to prevent damage to the components of the braking system